So one of the things I have wanted to grow since we started this farm is ginger. And I said, well, we'll trim our trees when you come out and do it. <laughs> so here he is, true to his word, trimming the trees. So today I am here. We've got all eight nest boxes uh, laid out. I'm going to get them filled and ready to be used. Bedroom for the babies. I see. I see. You're put This is where our babies are going to sleep. Mm -hmm. So I'm the official coffee holder this morning. <laughs> So we're, we're looking at the uh, eclipse and Jeff, our neighbor, brought over his box with a hole in it so you can see the eclipse down in it. It's kind of cool. Come on, say. Yay. <laughs> All right, so the doggy door you installed works. Yep. All right. That's good. They've learned. All right, so another busy day again today. It's Saturday the 6th. Oh, yeah. We've already had a ton of people stop by the farm this morning. <laughs> Sometimes it's like a revolving door around here, which we love. We love having people here. Um, so I've made some soil blocks this morning to get ready. Betsy's helping seed again today. Mm -hmm. And you're going to finish the wall in yep. here. Yeah, that's exciting. A lot of stuff happening. Yeah. And it is beautiful. It is, yeah. It's very warm out here and it's going to be very hot in the greenhouse today. <laughs> We're going to have to open up that side door for sure. Yeah. All right, I need to go make us some lunch real quick okay. and then I'll be back out here working. Okay, perfect. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, back to work. Where's the ball? Where's the ball? Okay, this is the last one. And, uh, and then I will try I think I can do that. I can put the, the door. Yeah, that will be easy. All right. The floor is now uh, on level and the, this wall it's not on level two. So let's see what happened. <laughs> let's see what happened. So one of the things I have wanted to grow since we started this farm is ginger, which is one of our favorite things, and turmeric. Last year, well, two years ago we tried it, and I never followed through. Last year we tried it, and we weren't very successful. This year, we're going to try it again, because I'm going to continue doing it until I get her figured out. We have a very short growing season up here, so it isn't that we're not doing things correctly. It's just we need to figure out a structure that keeps this warm enough until it can go in the ground, and then warm enough to the point where it's harvestable. So we are just gonna get it started. I ordered this from Fruition Seeds out of New York. So I think um, here's the ginger here and then the turmeric here. So I have maybe four trays worth. And all I'm gonna do is I have a tray with holes and a tray with no holes so we're going to put the holes inside of the no holes and i'm going to fill this with a layer of dirt we'll put these on top and then top it off with another layer of dirt it's very simple then these go in the top shelf of the germination room because they don't really need a lot of light in the beginning uh, and they will stay in there until they germinate and remember we keep it around 80 degrees in our germination room to get our warm season crops to germinate so that'll be the ginger That'll be the turmeric and then, of course, our peppers and tomatoes. So this is just our, our starter mix that I'm using. And I moistened it a little bit, not too much, uh, just to make it a little bit easier to pack in here. All right, so just like that. And then I'm going to lay out the ginger in here. The ginger in this box is pretty much about the size ready to get planted. You want there to be a couple of eyes that are 
looking healthy. These, I have left them in the box probably too long, which I'm notoriously bad for that when we're busy. All right, now that I have these placed in here, I am going to put another layer of dirt over the top of them. All right, this is ready to go into the germination room. Now, these would probably germinate a little faster if we had heat mats, but I've never used heat mats. Uh, our germination room tends to do a pretty good job, um, so that's just going to be ready to go in there. Alright, so we got five trays of ginger uh, out of what I ordered, and we're going to probably get one tray of turmeric. Alright, and I'm going to do the same thing for the turmeric. Spread it out in here. Some of these could probably be cut down into smaller pieces, but I've let it sit too long. I want to, it's pretty dried out. I just want to get it planted. <laughs> I may go to our local store and pick up a few more, do one, so I can do one more tray of turmeric. All right, that's that. I'm just going to put a layer of dirt on this and then the ginger and turmeric are done. All right, then what I'm going to do, I'm going to give these a good water before I bring them into the germination room just to make sure uh, they'll be good for a week or so before I need to water again. And I do like to let the ginger and turmeric dry out a little bit before I water them again uh, just so they don't rot. All right, so we're out here with Betsy's significant other, Aaron. I don't know that he's significant. <laughs> Just kidding, we love Aaron. He has been harping on me to trim our trees. And I said, well, we'll trim our trees when you come out and do it. <laughs> so here he is, true to his word, trimming the trees. Yeah. All right, oh, so God. we're just gonna put this on time-lapse and watch Aaron work. All right, so it's that time of year again where we bred all the rabbits. We bred them on the 10th of last month and the 12th of last month. Uh, we just did two separate breedings with different rabbits. So today I am here. We've got all eight nest boxes uh, laid out. I'm going to get them filled and ready to be used. It's going to be nice. Nice to have some baby bunnies around. So that's what I'm working on right now. So for doing our rabbit nest boxes, it's pretty simple. We just use a layer of pine shavings on the bottom, and it really depends on the time of year. This time of year, we put a pretty thick layer uh, and let the rabbits dig it out and put their fur in. We also then put in a bunch of straw, so we just bought a bale of straw because we don't have any dry straw here on the property. And uh, we put straw in there. This time of year, because it's so cold, we put a little extra in there just to make sure it, there's a lot of insulation around the edges of the boxes and the babies aren't either against the bottom or against the sides. Generally the moms do a pretty good job. And then we'll just keep checking them over the next few days because sometimes the moms will start using them as a litter box. Although I find when they do that they're usually not very good moms. I can already hear some of the moms over in their cages digging, which means they're ready to build nests. So now we're going to put them in the rabbit cages. How many pairs of glasses do I need on my head? I don't know. How many do you need? <laughs> Hi guys, who's ready, huh? Oh, she's digging away, huh? Hi, Mom. How are you? Hey, you already pulled a ton of hair, too, huh? Yeah. You know, we just needed to get 
those nest boxes set up, so thank you for helping. Yeah, thank All you. All right, so we'll see in about two to four days who's got babies. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what are you working on here? I'm working in the... Um, um, bedroom for the babies. I see. I see. You're putting... This is where our babies are going to sleep? Mm -hmm. Wow, someone's going to turn us into child services, I think. <laughs> <laughs> Which babies are you talking about? Oh, the, I think the more noise there. <laughs> more chicks. <Yeah. laughs> wow. I don't think you're ever going to give me a straight answer, are you? No. <laughs> <laughs> so you're cleaning out our brooder. Yep. Because we have chicks that started hatching way early yeah uh, so one day it's like oh yeah yesterday yeah yeah yesterday morning they weren't supposed uh -huh. to start hatching till tomorrow yeah but yesterday morning i woke up and was laying in bed and i thought i hear a chick in the brooder <laughs> what in the incubator well i guess because spring is so early they say hey it's time to go outside yeah <laughs> so we were planning on putting more eggs in the incubator but mm -hmm. these ones are hatching so now we have to wait till these have finished hatching yeah so by tomorrow they should be all done and we'll bring them out here, right? Yep. Nice. I'm getting ready. So what do you have left to do? Just put in the um, wood shape. Yep, the wood chips have to go mm -hmm. in there. And you got to put the light bar back on there. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I think for today, I'm going to put it here. Okay, yeah, that's fine. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're going to put the chicks in there, in there. We just need to watch those new kittens. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, we have new kittens, and I think they're going to find the chicks very interesting. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, so I think it's fine to put them in there. We just need to make sure it's well covered. Yeah. Yeah. All right, well, I'm going to leave you to work because I have to get working on the podcast. We're shooting our third podcast tomorrow, I think. Oh, wow. So, yeah, I got to get that done. Oh, good. So, back to work. Okay, now I need the hip lamp. So you have to give me a second because I don't know where they are. <laughs> so I, I got the two uh, hip lamp. And one is like a, a normal light. I think this one is about uh, 150, well, no, 125 watts. And this one. This one is, uh, I think it's 250 watts. I almost possible. I'm not sure. <laughs> I just, I am just guessing. <laughs> so the next thing I will do is um, try to cover the top because uh, the kitties they want, they will uh, try to get get inside just for curiosity. It's just, it's no other reason. Morning. Morning. Okay. So Jose and I have an extremely busy day today. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of stuff going on. I already edited and posted a video this morning. We have both Betsy and Stephanie here today. Stephanie's here to shoot the next podcast. Wow. Betsy's going to help us do some planting. Mm -hmm. We want to get plastic on two mm -hmm. of the hoop houses in the morning here before they get here. Mm -hmm. But then, of course, chicks hatched in the last few days. Yeah. And this was just kind of a batch we threw in here uh, because we needed to get some chicks going. So they're uh, getting ready to come out. And then we have the meat bird eggs ready to go in here. Those are going to go in this afternoon. I'm letting them warm up to room temperature. They've been in the basement. So, all right, let's see how many chicks we got. Oh. We can shut this off for a minute. So I'm not blowing chicken dust everywhere. Hi, guys. Hi. Are you ready to go outside? Oh, wow. You guys are so dusty. <laughs> oh, you're so cute. Okay. Look at how cute. Man. Okay, we got one. 
Oh, look at this gray one. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. So pretty. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight nine, ten, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three. All right, does it look like there's any more that are going to hatch? Which one? Okay, let's close this back up then real quick. I, I think. think. Okay. Yeah, go meet your new charges. They'll be able to run. It's hard for them to run around on that cardboard. Oh. So they'll be able to stand up easier in here. Hi, baby. All right, we got some chick grit here. Jose's getting the water and the feed. I think, though, it's going to be too windy to do plastic on the hoop houses today, which is disappointing. We wanted to get that done. Yeah, you can see the wind moving the trees around. It's going to be way too windy. <laughs> we'll just pay attention today. If the wind slows down, uh, we'll be able to come out and get it done. on a very long hatch which was kind of surprising we started hatching out a couple of days ago and then they were still hatching out this morning so it'll be interesting to see how everybody does mm -hmm. <laughs> with our own hatched out we don't usually dip their beaks in water like you see a lot of people do mm -hmm. Uh, we usually let them figure it out. Usually once one figures out where the food is and where uh, the water is, they all get it real quick. Yeah. It's going to be too windy today to do the plastic, I think. We'll just have to pay attention if the wind dies down. Maybe we can get it done. But it's definitely too windy now. Yeah. So what I think, let's um, get the side of the greenhouse pulled off, mm -hmm. get the 301 out of there, and we can build some tables because we've got to get stuff moved out of the germination room because we have a whole bunch more seating to do today and we need the space in the germination room. So I think if we can get that done this morning instead. Okay. Yay! All right, back to work. So I'm the official coffee holder this morning. <laughs> <laughs> Jose's working. So what we're going to do is open this up, reset it up so we can put this other plastic, I think, on the outside, and then put the door that has the chicken wire in it yeah. so that we can open it and close it now every day because when it gets hot in there, we can't keep these cool season crops in there and we don't want to have to move them out. So if we can keep these doors open, they stay cool enough. But we have to get the 301, which is one of our planting mixes, out of here first. So that's why we're opening this up so the tractor can get the 301 out. So these pallets from Farmer's Friend work really good in our greenhouse for putting our trays on. What we do though is cut it a little bit smaller because it's too wide for our walkways. So we're going to cut it down to this two by four or down to this one. I mean, we're going to cut off that side because it's in worse shape. This side's in better shape.
can you hold it or can you? <laughs> You're on film. So we're, we're looking at the uh, eclipse. And Jeff, our neighbor, brought over his box with a hole in it so you can see the eclipse down in it. It's kind of cool. So we're having fun all around. Good that the clouds will not Right, Tronic? Yeah. It's got a few. Right, Tronic? I didn't realize it was going to be going on this long. I guess I should have done more reading. So probably in about 15 to 20 minutes or so, it should be peaking. Okay. It's not yet. Still super interesting. Let me see through this one. Oh yeah. Oh, even with the clouds. Cool. <laughs> I did what you did just in the opposite. <laughs> I looked at it first and then put this up. <laughs> Shut up, Jeff. <laughs> I'm now blind. Thank okay. you. No, thank you. All right. Okay. Well, thanks, Jeff, for uh, coming over. You should probably get to work. Yeah. I'm here inside of the uh, chicken trailer and I try to clean this manure it's a little thick but I've been using hot water so I think uh, it will be more easy right now I need, get, I need to go get the, uh, a different shovel to try to clean better so I'll be right back in a minute. Just enjoy the view. Hi, <laughs> Poppy. All right, more water, more hot water. 